Well, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. So anyway, guys, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the channel. It has definitely been a minute since I've actually posted a video, probably with actually me talking in it on YouTube. So um, anyway, we're coming off a big loss here for the channel. But like the previous video said, you know, racers really don't, you know, give up. They kind of like just evolve and adapt. So anyway, in this video is basically going to be a short video. I actually have to run out. I'm just going to go ahead and spoil. Oh, I'm leaning back because, you know, the seat is broke. So you can probably see the other seat is still up. Yeah, I got to fix the seat. It's just a bolt missing. But, um, you know, uh, yeah, this is kind of like the introductory video of the new project here for a channel. It's actually one of I would probably say my unicorn cars or, you know, like top five cars that I would probably ever want, you know, like a Porsche, Grand National, you know, two-door Tahoe. So I finally have one of my dream vehicles. Big shout out to my big homie, Joe. He uh, basically was like, hey, look, I got something for you, but, you know, cash talks. So that's what happens. So uh, today's going to be a short video. I'm going to show you guys basically a walk around of the truck. And I'm not going to tell you guys any future plans because if you guys have been following me on Instagram and the community page here on this YouTube channel, you already know that, you know, we're going big. We're going back to Mexico, baby, and we're going to conquer it. All right. So um, I'm just going to give you guys a little walk around of the truck, show you guys what's going on. And it's really going to help with like a how it was to what it is now type of thing, especially like when we probably look back on this video, probably like, I don't know, three, six, eight months from now, you can be like, yo, this dude really came a long way. Because it's like when you build race cars and stuff like that and you look at it, you're like, uh, it doesn't really look like he did much. But, you know. When you actually look back at previous videos and previous like pictures and stuff of your car, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, he, he or she really came a long way. All right, so uh, I guess I'm since I'm like, it's raining too. So that's another reason why this video is going to be really, really quick. Shut that bird up. So um, I'm going to show you guys the interior. Okay, so basic 90s, because this truck is a 94. It's made in 93, but you know, GM classified it as a 94. It was made in like late 93. Wow, look at that odometer, baby. Like when I really got in the truck, I was like, oh, okay, that's not bad. It's got 23,193 miles on it. And then I was like, oh, moron. You don't see that eight? So yeah, this truck's, it's a Chevy, man. They, these things run. It, and it runs like a top too. I mean, it's, it's got the um, TBI 5.7 in it. Um, as you guys can see that it is four wheel drive. It was a plow truck, but the rust issue that's on the truck is not major. It's nothing that I can't handle, that I can't repair here. And the gravel garage, like I said, like, well, like I was getting ready to say, it's the old 90s style, early 90s style Chevy interior. Um, I was already doing a little bit of work you can see those are the old tail lights. I know you guys are probably gonna wanna see it, so let me show you, like, yeah. Those are the old tail lights. The other one looks the same too. So, um, I did do my first mod today. Um, I did swap out a couple things. Uh, there's an old battery, there's protection. I'm not gonna show you guys the headliner. Boop. Okay, there's the headliner. Headliner looks atrocious. Um, yeah, I was doing a couple things, pulling a couple dents out. There's the panel for the rear bumper and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's like a real good clean for what it is type of truck. As you can probably see here, it really is clean. All right, so uh, uh, I'm thinking about swapping the steering wheel out with like a Grant steering wheel or something like that. I don't know. I just... Ugh, I just don't like the feel of this steering wheel. I don't like it. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. It really does. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it away or something like that. I don't know. Give it away to the junkyard. Yeah, just like it, the way the wheel feels. It's like I even cleaned it too, so like it feels better. But 
seconds. Still kind of bad. All right, let's go show the walk around and then. All right, so it is a Silverado model. Let's see, footsteps, I'm gonna cut those off. Oh, mirror's broken. So here, I'm gonna have to get some fenders. Let's see here, all right, so the plow was on it. So as you can see, I already cut the plow off of it and I still have to cut off the bracket. I was thinking about reusing this bumper, you know, grinding off the old tabs and stuff right there. But then I looked and then I saw this dent right here and I'm like, uh, cause basically like I was gonna cut all these off, cut those off, fill the holes in it that's under this little bumper strip and then make a nice smooth bumper. I still may do it, but I kind of want it to be nice and perfect. And I don't think I can get it perfect because this dent is actually kind of big. So, uh, here we go, here we go. Like I said, it's the 5.7 V8 TBI that came with the truck for 231,000 miles on it. Like this thing really runs like a top. Um, yeah, so the ABS unit is going, the washer bottle is going. I may go brake booster delete. Uh, that fuse box over there is definitely getting out of here. Air condition is going. Not gonna need that. Coolant reservoir, that's going. Yeah, all this is going, baby. All this is going. It does have like a big radiator in it too. So I don't know. Since I'm actually going forced induction, I may want the turbo to probably sit right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably want the turbo to sit right here and probably like really grab some air from the grill. So I may get like, uh, cause these radiators are like what? 31 inches, four, damn near 40 inches or something like that. So I'm probably gonna get a radiator that probably stops like over here, electric fan on this side and have the snail pointing out through the grill right there. All right, so moving along, moving along. So yeah, that's mostly the major cosmetic parts is that this truck is going to need new fenders uh these are the wheels that are on it too i have no idea where they got these wheels from these wheels are absolutely horrible um it is going to need all new suspension <laughs> like dude what are those um like I said, it is four-wheel drive. I'm gonna eliminate the four-wheel drive, so I'm definitely gonna be taking out the trans, the differential, and all that stuff like that. We're going back with the power glide that we had in the G8 and a custom drive shaft. Oh yeah, so also, before I actually get wrenching on this, like I said, I'm gonna remove the four-wheel drive unit. Um, I do have to do some brake lines too. So since I'm going brake booster delete, I'm removing the ABS. And I'm going to do new brake lines too. So uh, content's probably going to be slow once again, unless you guys want to see a video of me basically, you know, doing custom brake lines and stuff like that. That's one of the major things I'm going to be doing. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. There's another big dent down here. Um, so I went on Classic Industries and I ordered the basic common patch panels. I ordered the patch panel back there. Um, I don't know if I want to get new doors. I don't see anyone making fiberglass doors. So I may just go ahead and get new aluminum doors since they're like really, really light. They're like 50 pounds lighter on a door. That's a hundred pounds, you know, and that's, that's going to save me a whole lot at the track. Um, yeah, everything can be done. He did put a dual exhaust on it. It really does sound cool, but kind of obnoxious so i'm definitely not going to start it up sounds like a typical 350 and now we're getting to the meat and potatoes so as you guys can see the new tail lights right 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 so and here's another thing too the tailgate tailgate is shot so i'm thinking when I go ahead and fix the tailgate, I'm probably just gonna chop this lip off right here, all the way, get the welder out um, and seam it up. 
So that's gonna be the sucky part because I can't find anyone. I can't find anyone that's selling a tailgate, not even on eBay. Well, there's one on eBay right now, but the guy, it has like its little dents and stuff like that. But the guy wants like $700. That's ridiculous, but I guess you gotta pay to play. Um, so yeah, I'm removing the rear bumper. I'm going with the roll pan bumper. Um, it, let's see, fuel tank's coming out of it. It's getting a fuel cell. And look, 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 look. If I can do this, uh, it's not gonna do it now, I don't have much leverage. Like the shocks are shot on this bad boy. But yeah, getting back to that dual exhaust, like he did a good job on it. It really did. It's got like a Flowmaster muffler on it, single in, dual out. He did a good job. Sounds atrocious. It's, it's got like, it's probably got like one of those one chamber mufflers on it. That's, that's what I'm trying to describe to you. Um, so yeah, that's the first mod that I did. You know, don't forget guys, Andrew's race cars, get your new merch. Um, so yeah, I'm going with the roll pan bumper. Our, we already got new tail lights on it. That was the first mod for today. Um, a cool thing that I see people do is kind of like put a battery charger cable, right? Cause like I said, I'm eliminating the gas tank and going with a fuel cell. I may put like a jumper box right there. That's another cool thing I've seen people do. All right, so yeah, that's the body. Body is faded. Same exact spots on both sides. I wonder if that's like a same, like a pattern or something like that. Silverado base model. And, ooh, look at that. My inspection is still good. And that's the hood too. You guys are probably gonna ask about that. That's the hood. Front windshield has a crack in it. Other than that. Mm. All right, so like I said, that's enough of today's video. I, I, I kind of feel embarrassed making a video about this truck, but you know, it is what it is. Um, good thing is, you know, we still got the factory keys. We still got our HP tuners. Um, actually, I'm on the way now to go pick up an engine for this. Of course, it's reasonably affordable. Another 5.3. I mean, like guys are doing like 1200 easy horsepower with five threes so yeah five three is the go-to um of course i was actually looking for six o but all the six o's were like um a thousand horse i mean not a thousand horsepower they were like a thousand dollars each and that was just like absurd amount of money so like even with the wire harness, even though I'm not gonna use the wire harness, they're trying to hype it up. Like, oh, it's coming with a wire harness. The wire harnesses are butchered with these things. Yeah, they're coming with a computer too, but like $2,000 and they're all like 200,000 mile 6.0 engines. I can understand why the mileage is high because they're probably coming out of vans, express vans and stuff like that, 15 passenger vans. So them trucks are really like hauling stuff or hauling people. I can understand the mileage, but dude, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude today's video. I'm actually still a little hurt. Back is still killing me, so I can't stand that long. So anyway, guys, we're back. Please be patient. Definitely like, drop a like on today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Depending on how things go, I may upload a second video today. We'll see, because like I said, I'm actually going to go get the engine now. All right. So I'm out and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.